No one here cares that you are an American that's black that's come to Africa. And there is nothing wrong with finding your roots. I do understand that. But your roots have nothing to do with the color or pigment or melanin in your skin. Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Ndakira here. Welcome to the channel. As always, for the subscribers, thank you so much for your time. Today's video is a South African man, white South African man, who was telling a black American man that he should not consider himself or see himself as an African. In fact, it should be the white South African that should see himself as an African because he's white and he's South African. And I'm like, really? But before I get into it, guys, watch this clip, come back, and let's talk about it. This white man is telling me that I am not African and that I'm entitled of being, I need to just embrace the American. Check this out. Hey, Mr. Mayweather, uh, I don't want to speak out of turn. Um, I. I, I get the irony that I'm a I'm a white African and you're a black American. I get that, but um, I I do live here. I'm married to an American, so maybe I can give you some insights. I don't want to speak out of turn, and I certainly don't speak for everyone. But I, I'll tell you what some of my black friends have told me. No one here cares that you are an American that's black that's come to Africa. You see, you you got to understand. To an African, to a black African, you are an American. That's it. You're an American. And so there's this mindset of black Americans that when they get off the plane and they come to South Africa, that they're going to be embraced as returning to their land or whatever it else it, it is. And that's not that's not the case. It'll be like um, myself. I'm, a, I'm born in Africa, right? I'm, but I'm white. So what if I trace my roots back to some European country let's say serbia because i got serbian blood and i got off the plane and i'm like i've arrived i'm back home in the motherland you know they're gonna say dude you don't speak our language you don't understand our culture we don't give a damn that you've got x amount of percentage serbian in you or whatever it is you are not serbian you are not european go back to africa did i just hear that right this man is saying when he goes to the western countries when he goes to europe they will tell him to go to Africa. Africa where? That they will not see you as European. Are you joking? Is this a joke? Guys, this must be a joke. Because I, I can't believe this human being came on the internet and said such BS. And they'd be correct. You see, goes back to the very thing that um, black Americans have been fighting for for hundreds of years. They want the, the equality of their fellow man in the country where they reside. And you need to, um, in my opinion, you need to embrace the fact that you are proudly American. Proudly American. My wife is proudly American and I am proudly South African. And together we remain a couple that have our distinct cultures, our distinct countries, our distinct background, our uh, you, you know, and, and we're not trying to be the other person's whatever. I mean, if I go to America and if I stay there for the next 20 years, I, it doesn't change the fact that I would be an African in America. <laughs> this is crazy. You'll be seen as what? Oh my goodness. For someone to say your skin color, your skin tone has nothing to do with your roots, especially to an African person, to a black person, is the most ridiculous statement someone could ever bring out from their mouth. If anything should be right, it should be the black American man that should actually tell you to pack up your things and leave. And when you talk about you being an African, what do you mean by being African? Because as an African, I think I have a lot of similarities with other African people, black people around the globe or in Africa as a whole. When it comes to the Africaners, as they call themselves, your culture is different from the African people. The way and the things that you do are literally different from the African people. Oh, you're just like, I am an Africana in South Africa. We came, we conquered. So I am now an African because I stay in these stolen lands that my ancestors gave me. These opportunities that I have because my ancestors gave it to me by oppressing the black actual people that belong to those lands. Maybe you should say those things. And the fact that he's telling people that actually fought for their freedom that they got in America to, to be proud Americans like they are not, is just so wild to me. Who say they are not proud to be American? 
who said black Americans are not proud to be American and for someone to look for their roots of where they come from especially black people that were taken from Africa like these people know their ancestors did actually take people from the continent and dehumanized them but he has the audacity to tell the people that actually want to come back to their motherland that they are not supposed to they should stay where they belong because they fought for the freedom they have in America what you wanted them to stay in oppression and not fight for for themselves to have freedom at all because that's what he's saying literally he's saying because you fought for the freedom that you have in those parts of the world don't come here to Africa claiming that you're African I'm the one who's African but the fact that they do not even accept the atrocities that they committed is where I think they should stop saying anything about black people in America or any other part of the world they do not want to take in the accountability for the things they did they do not want to understand why even our people were taken to those foreign lands that they now have to do so much to get away from. How about talk about that situation? That's the great illusion here. That's the great illusion. So, for whatever that's worth, and once again, I, I, I hope I didn't speak out of turn. He's so misinformed um, because part of what he's saying, he's like, he was born in Africa. And he, I guess he tried to use the fact that he has an American wife don't sound like she's black because she would have she would have slapped him in the mouth for what he's saying but um he's saying black americans feel like because of the color of their skin they get here and they're just going to be embraced so actually and he's and he's also saying if you're just american you get embraced it's not the color of your skin nah trust me it's because i'm black they rock with me because i'm black they love that i'm american and they love that i'm black and as you can see in the comments and the different things, I'm super embraced. So it's crazy that I'm, and see, this is the craziness too. How's a white man gonna comment and tell me that I'm not African? Do you see this brown? Do you know where this brown came from? It didn't come from America because Africans didn't come from America. Oh my God, this makes my blood boil. If a white South African goes to America and a black American is born in America, and they are both walking on the street. Will the white South African be stopped in any sort of way for the police corps or whatsoever to see him as a threat to stop him or her as a white South African in the West? Can that happen on a normal day? Like in all honesty, the people from the diaspora, black Americans, the Caribbeans, black British, black Asians, those people have more rights to have privilege in Africa than any other white person that has ever existed in Africa and that's the reality just like a black African man does not ever get more privilege in the Western countries than any other white man why do you want us to accept you and let you have all the privileges and then have the audacity to chase our brothers that we are calling every single day to come in the continent that they do not belong to the continent you belong more are you kidding me what did this white man mean by saying as a black man wherever you come from you can never claim to be african only me as a south african white man should like is that even real like do they even face the same challenges as every other african person really i always tell you guys as a black american when you come into africa whoever you are caribbean wherever that you are as a black person that considers themselves to be african people will always embrace you you will not face any backlash just because you come from america our people always assume you are born in the continent and probably you are raised in the western country so there will always be that kind of interpretation it might be positive it might be negative but that's how they will see you that you are from here in africa but you just grew up from the west until you tell them oh i'm black american before you say that even if you lie and say any african country nigeria south africa uganda kenya Tanzania, any 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 african country people will believe you because we know our people leave africa and go to the western countries so they will still have that brethren towards you because you are still african so do not get or buy into these groups of people that come and spew hatred and want to discourage you from coming in the continent and making you want to feel like you are not african they are the ones that are not african because they do not own anything they stole everything they have till today every little bit of anything they have in the continent 
thanks to Olit. As a person that is always encouraging you brothers and sisters from the diaspora to come in the continent, these people don't want to leave Africa because there is a lot of things they are benefiting from and they know that when you come as a black American, people are going to embrace you. These things they are saying that people see you only as an American is a lie. It's definitely a lie. We know that you are our people. These things that you see on the internet where we are fighting, those are people that want us to be divided and they, that's the only way they can keep us divided because they want to put out this hate and make us feel like we cannot connect or work together which is ridiculous so I really want to let you know there's a lot of opportunities that are in the African continent as you can see even the UK is sending its people to Rwanda to Africa a lot of people are leaving the Western countries to come to other parts of the world especially Africa a lot of Chinese a lot of other people are coming into Africa because that's where the future is there's nothing more ready to be doing in the Western countries so when these people see that you are coming back and you're going to benefit even more because nobody's going to be stopping you you look like everybody else you look like everyone that you come across to it definitely scares them and of course they would not want you to come and take on their opportunities that they are used to or the privilege they are used to. And with your knowledge, things that you can teach African people to open their minds or help us open our minds, trust me, that's the list of the things that they want to, to see change. And so they have to come and tell you all these negative things just to keep you away. But don't let these people spew lies that can discourage you from coming home just know home is the motherland and the motherland is home <laughs> you know i just really want to encourage you that we are one and we should not let these kinds of people that actually came and stole things from us to dictate and tell us who should be african and who is not let's start there you know so when i saw this video i really could not keep quiet about it but yeah guys that is it for me in the video let me know what you think about this should we really let these people uh discourage you from coming and should we really let these people discourage us from connecting let me know what you think about this uh don't forget to like subscribe comment uh i'll see you in the next video bye